Hi everybody, I come back with another amazing Power Query Tips. Today we are going to talk about how to use custom indexing column. This is related to challenge number 127 as well as 117. In this challenge, we have a table including two columns and we are going to provide separate indexing from a stock equal to A and equal to B like this. But in the challenge 127, we are going to restart the indexing when the price is drew. So for the A, as the price of 45 is less than 100, the index is restart from 0 again. And it's going to continue for all the A value and B value. Both these challenges are posted on my LinkedIn. You can go there and find wide range of solutions presented by experts. By using Excel, Power Query, DAX, CQL, Python, R, and other software. But today we are going to solve this problem by Power Query. To solve this problem by Power Query, let's add an index column. So let's say index column, and this is the index. In the next step, I'm going to add a custom column. Let's name it as a custom indexing and let's write table dot select rows on this function i'm going to select the rows from these tables so let's add added index and here i'm going to define x value over a stock equal to underscore stock and see the results okay this function is added inside the table dot add column as table dot add column use each operator we cannot use each here and we use a custom function definition like this and in this case x is represent to value on this table added index and each underscore represent the value on this table added custom table so by doing this it means that over the table over the rows on this table select the rows which their stock would be equal to a stock presented on these rows so for this one it's resulted the value for a and for this one it's resulting all the values for a stock b Besides using this condition, I'm going to add another condition and say x index would be less than underscore index. See the results for this one. Index should be in uppercase, so let's change it to uppercase and see the result. For this one, it's result in blank. For this one, it's result in one, two, and the same for others. Instead of using just less than, let's use less than or equal. So for this one, it's result in this table. For this one, these two rows table. For this one, a table with two rows. For this one, a table with three rows and the same for others. So instead of using table dot select rows, I will add another function here, table dot row count and let's close parentheses and we see the result it's going to provide custom indexing with separate counter for a stock a and for a stock b so the challenge number 170 is solved by this solution but to solve the 